What's up YouTube? It's your boy Skeda and today I'm gonna show you how to make a Prodigy style track. Quick story, when Kifli died I decided to make a tribute track. But I didn't have my laptop back then because it was a service for changing the keyboard. I had my old laptop which is 12-13 years old. And it was a, bit, a little bit challenging because in my old laptop I didn't have any third party VSTs. I only have Ableton and my samples. So I decided to take the challenge and make a track from scratch. I'm gonna show you exactly what I did, but first let's see the final result. So guys, here is the track. Show, show you the whole track because it's five minutes track but you get the idea you know what I did here so let's start from the basics the first things well the track starts like this our first sound is a bass This year bass, I found it inside the instruments of the Ableton. Is the bass floor bound? I used an amplifier here, a little bit of EQ, and then my sidechain. My next sound is this. I made a few chords, a few notes from the upper side and I used a little bit of distortion that synth right here, you can find it also inside the Ableton, the synth lead the Fat Dance Tab I used a little bit of overdrive to give a little bit of distortion a little bit of EQ to cut the low frequencies that I don't need and a little bit of ping pong uh, delay 
it gives a little bit of the space feel what I have here the original vocal sounds like this so I pitched it up by seven semitones a little bit more prodigy style vocal after that let's see a few things in our drums a jungle beat sounds like this you're gonna find probably in every sample pack with jungle beats you know just the semantics terror cross that impact which is very important another cross my side my sub bass I made it this myself I, uh, I, I saved it like that to fade out nice and, smooth, nice and smoothly so let's see what else we have here well you don't see what I did here but I made this I think this one is just uh, uh, I think it's a distorted guitar synth lead, something like that that I did. Just in background noise, I, this is what I wanted, a little bit of back, background noise. I picked it up by 14 semitones and sounds like this. What else do I have here? That bass, okay, that's a sample that I just found and it was so nice, I just use it. No second thoughts. Another bass that I found. And after, well, we just read the bridge. This guitar sound, I made it myself. I found this guitar lead stronger inside Ableton. If you see here, it's in the analog in instruments. I made the notes. And then I made, uh, I sampled it a few times and I changed the distortion in every version I have a different distortion in this guitar sound Now, let's see the drop sound. The 
low frequency sound here, chant synth solo, I found it in the wave table in the instruments of Abdul. And that sound. The, the Boulder Blaster. Here I have a drum and bass loop without this. Another loop just to make it a little bit more fuller, I don't know how to say it. Here, at, uh, in the snare, I want to make the snare a little bit more crispy. And that's why I took another snare. Just a, a simple snare, no big deal. And I put an amplifier. Just a soul lead in the same suite of Fusion and Sableton. Let's see what I did here. I used an overdrive to make the sound a little bit more distorted, crispy. But the amplifier is what f makes a difference in every sound in this project. I mean, the whole the key to achieve to I don't know how to say it to make this sound that prodigy sound is the amplifier. Also, I used a little bit of echo in a few sounds and also in this one. It takes the dry sound and make it more wet, more in space. It's a perfect tool for this job.
what we have here wave table with overdrive What I used in the group of my drop sounds and no TT at 30%. An EQ8. I I think I overdid it a little bit with the EQ8, but I don't know. I just like the, how it sounds like right now. An echo. I also use an echo here. Let's see what I did in mastering. Well, no ozone, no third party VSTs, so let's see what I did here. I start by using an EQ, co uh, cutting, cutting out the low frequencies of the side, but I don't need. I also give a little bit boost just to make the image of the track a little bit bigger. Then I start using the Wii, the Cytomic compressor, glue compressor of Ableton, just to cut a little bit the peaks, as the preset says, it helps a little bit to make the track a little bit more, I don't know how to say it exactly, but cutting a little bit of these peaks, maybe sometimes you need it, maybe sometimes you don't, that's on your judging. After that, I used a little bit of saturation to give a little bit more distortion to the track and then I used the glue compressor as a limiter. After that, I used the Ableton limiter just to give half a dB. I, I don't know why, I just did it. <laughs> Actually, I felt that I, can, that I can give a little bit more push to this track and I just want to do it with a limiter this time, not with a compressor. So I gave with the Ableton limiter half TB and then the utility doesn't matter, I just put it for the video uh, because it's, it was gonna be very loud without this. So don't mind this and this yeah. magic ab is just a mirror just to know how much my ableton is loud so guys pretty much that's the project i don't know what else can i tell you to help you all, all the scenes that i choose i found them in the instruments of the ableton I just use, as I said before, the key to this project was the amplifier. Most of the sounds became Prodigy style sounds by using the amplifier. I don't know, that was for me the key. Also, good drum beats, good drum loops, they are always gonna be helpful. <laughs> Thank you.
So guys, that was the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please consider to subscribe because more Bill's eggs are coming. Also in the description, I'm gonna have a few links from my free sample packs. Check them out if you haven't already. See you next time.